Good afternoon and welcome back to Look Inside My Garden. I'm Sophie and today I'm going to talk to you about what I've got growing indoors in February. So it might seem like quite early on in the season to be growing things indoors and getting things started off but there are actually many varieties of seeds which can be started off early. Um, in fact some things I even had sown in January um, and it's great to get a head start on things but you do need to think about where they're going to go next. So I have got my zippy greenhouse and um, so you will need a greenhouse, a cold frame, a clear storage container with a lid if you're going to go that route but if you're starting things early you definitely need somewhere for them to go once they are ready. So I thought I will show you what I've got growing, not only in here, but also in my conservatory. Um, and also talk to you about my new addition, which I got this week, which is my heat mat, which you don't, you don't really need. Um, but anyway, I haven't spoken about this on my YouTube channel before, but I um, host grow alongs over on Instagram and I collaborated with a lovely brand to put together my own seed collections. Um, this is the second one that I did. I did one in the autumn, but this was my winter collection. So the seedlings that are here are five out of this packet. Um, five are perennial and five are annual. So we grew together. I'll leave the link down below for the free grow along course if you fancy growing along. Um, and then I've also launched my spring collection, which will be sowing the first weekend of March. Um, this one hasn't got perennials, this one's just beautiful flowers, um, mostly for cutting uh, to complement all the dahlias and other lovely things that I grow. So I'm really excited to be doing that one as well. Um, so the majority of things which I have got growing at the moment are things from my seed collection. Um, so yeah, you get 10 varieties in here, the full growing instructions, but there's some really fab things that we're growing. So the first thing I've got growing indoors is my Cabea. This is an annual climber which grows extremely quickly um, and can fill um, containers and it can cover fences. Yeah, it's really quick to grow. This one needs watering actually, but it's got a really good root system and these ones cannot go out, out in the greenhouse. So these will actually be indoors probably till about end of April, May. Um, I'll have to pot them up into a bigger container and then I will have to add in a stick um, for them to climb because very soon, I don't know if you can see that. I'm not very good at doing this backwards, but very soon um, little tendrils will start coming up and they'll start clinging onto things. So that's a fab one um, that I've got growing. Then I've got... These ones weren't actually from my seed collection, but these are geraniums. I love geraniums. They are so easy to grow from seed. Um, and these will actually stay indoors. They don't need much water. The top of these look quite dry, but actually the great thing about these seed trays is you can lift them up and see how much moisture is in the cell. Um, but I've got three different colors, a pink, that one's like a mixture of colors actually, and then a white. Um, I just love, I love them. They're so easy to grow and they're just brilliant. I wouldn't be without them in the garden. So then, um, I've got this one. We only sowed these, um, on the grow along on Sunday and they've germinated extremely quick. Um, xanthamum daisies or, I haven't pronounced that right. Let me just find the packet. Mesum. Oh, I'm not even going to try, but they're tiny, 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 multicolored, like rainbow daisies. They germinated really quick. Um, I mean, they probably, to be honest, need thinning out already. I did not expect, I literally took the lid off and I was like, oh wow, that happened way quicker than I thought. So they're now on the windowsill. Um, then the other one that's germinated already is a perennial. I've probably got the packet here actually. Oh my god, I can feel I'm about to sneeze. I've had a bit of a cold this week. A perennial salvia. <coughs> Bless me. Uh, Violet Queen. That one's germinated really quick. Um, 
so they are already starting to reach a little bit for the light so they will need to go out in the greenhouse very soon um in fact i'm going to put them on the windowsill now um none of these ones have germinated yet i mean the others have been so quick so i'm just going to move them i bought a heat mat this heat mat from amazon it was about 13 pound um i will link that down below in my amazon store um and things have just germinated so quick on it so i'm really pleased that i've bought that and i've actually bought a second one to put in my conservatory just so that i can get things going a bit quicker um and then the other thing that i've got growing indoors i say growing <laughs> it's just waking up this is a dahlia tuber um, and it's a very special dahlia tuber to me because it is a variety which is really unusual so this is isabel um there's not many places you can get her from so i decided that this year i wanted to really try my best to take successful cuttings now i've tried taking dahlia cuttings in the past and what usually happens is life just gets really busy and i have so many seedlings on the go that i neglect the cuttings and they just haven't ever been successful um so they need to be kept moist and they need to be really looked after so i'm going to be taking the cutting from this tuba keeping them in one of these lidded trays where i can make sure that the moisture level is right and they're getting enough light and that they're the right temperature to try and get some really good um cuttings so yeah that that's the plan it's got a lot more eyes than i thought i'm going to make sure that i show you this well so you can see they're really quite purple and they are sprouting everywhere so i've got one two three i mean that's actually got multiple four five i think there was even one on the back side and the compost actually looks quite dry now because it doesn't fit in here very well so i need to um actually I need to order a new one, but I need a Stanley blade and I want to actually cut, I want to cut this, I want to cut this one off. So the tube and the eye so that I can put it in a separate pot um, because ideally this needs to be buried in compost so that it can root and be better. Um, so yeah, that I need to do that next week. But it's really exciting that it's woken up because just to think that I'm going to have more of those is amazing. Um, so yeah, that is what is growing in my living room, on my living room windowsill. And now I will quickly take you to the conservatory, which is where I've got um, a few more seedlings. Um, and then that's what I've got growing indoors. Right, then out into my conservatory. So in here, there's actually a few things in here which shouldn't be in here. And this is kind of the interim <laughs> between living room and greenhouse so there is stuff in here actually that's not true this should be in here so this is gora this is a perennial which i had sown in january it will flower this year but it does not like the cold so this will have to stay in again until um the risk of frost has gone uh i need to thin it out so that there's only one per cell but these will be quite happy in the conservatory i grew them last year um, and this works really well. I've then got larkspur, which need to be um, thinned out and potted on. Now, these were my experiment larkspur. I get lots of messages from my grow along about people whose seedlings have got leggy. So I have deliberately kept these in the greenhouse. Um, oh, sorry, in the conservatory, not the greenhouse, just to show people the difference compared to what my seedlings in the greenhouse look like so you can just see they're a little bit more flimsy um but i'm going to demonstrate how to pot on a slightly leggy seedling um i've then got because i love larkspur so much i sow a fresh batch every month so this is the ones that have just germinated this week and they kind of all germinate at different times so that one was like a week ago but then one's only just starting i've got another one that's popped up over here i can see another one coming there so they all germinate at really different times and actually within the period of a month they can be popping up all over the place so yeah that is in here i've then got lots of geraniums 
which are all geraniums that I already had and I cut back for winter and they're now reshooting or they are geraniums which I took cuttings of and again these are just doing their thing in here and they will be planted out at the end of April or beginning of May ready for spring and summer and they will flower all the way through until the autumn. I absolutely love them. Um, then that's kind of it actually. I've got a few more locks where they're looking very sorry for themselves. Um, and then I've got some more locks there that I've sewn. Um, I thinned out some, these were from my um, winter seed grow along as well. These are Achillea and a Ridgeron. So I've just thinned these out into a tiny plug plant tray. Um, they're ready to go in the greenhouse. I just haven't done it yet. So that, that is where we're at. Um, I have got a few more things to be sewing in Feb, but I think that's a video for another time. Um, and yeah, it's just such an exciting time. So I'm going to move around. My knees are hurting. It's such an exciting time to be a gardener and to be planning and growing for our gardens. Um, I've got a pot, actually that's the wrong pot. I've got a pot here of sweet peas, which I'm going to be sowing because I've still got some more I'd like to sow. And then I've got another pot here. This is all the things I'd like to sow in Feb. Um, so I will be getting these done. Um, and now a little bit of space has been freed up on my heat mat. I will be able to um, get some things going in there and then move them in here. So it's a bit of a rotation system going on. But yeah, super exciting. That's what I've got growing indoors at the moment. Um, I've got some canna lily rhizomes in my garage stored in sawdust. And I'm actually going to pop some of those rhizomes up and put them on a heat mat and get them to start warming up and growing and then they can be indoors until the risk of frost is gone. I think we're 39 days away until spring starts, which is a really lovely thought. Um, so yeah, super exciting. Definitely check out my free seed grow alongs if you're curious about um, how to grow from seed. Full, yeah, full videos and instructions on how to do it. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more of what I get up to in my budget family garden and I will see you again soon.